God Emperor, hear our prayer. Watch over us as we prepare for battle. Though we are few and our enemies many, we shall not falter. By your grace, we will shatter the mutant, the heretic, the Xenos. By your grace, we will cleanse every dark corner of the stars. Grant us the gift of your wrath. God Emperor, hear our prayer. everyone and welcome back to another video so first and let me say thank you for everyone who came to the watch along at one point we had 2600 people watching the stream which is absolutely bloody mind-blowing so thank you for everyone who came everyone who was talking having a laugh and we just enjoyed ourselves as all the reveals went live now in the background of course you've just watched the trailer at the start this is probably the biggest thing that came from 40k during this event which is sisters but sisters with new mech suits and um, we saw all the memes as it was going on in chat you know the new baby carriers um, like Night Sisters, everything. Um, but this is what they're getting now. They are actually getting new mech suits to go along with their range. And they will have different loadouts as well. If you go back and you actually watch the trailer, um, you can see like a heavy bolter one in there with a mace and stuff like that. So that does confirm that it is going to be different ones. Um, if I recall correctly on the stream, as they were talking about them, they've done this so they can actually go in there and like fight like the more heavier stuff. These are why these suits have been made. I don't know who's made the suits. Is this like a call? invention or something like that maybe that is going to be explained uh, in the sister codex which hopefully is going to be coming out soon i actually think it will be one of the um next incoming codexes after the dark angel um and the dark eldar codex because that can fall into line then with the new dark eldar and sister box set you probably put the dark eldar um, book out there then release the box set then the sister codex after that and then you know it's it's pretty good marketing i would probably argue um, um for the sisters now my personal opinion on this is that i'm still confused um i'm still torn um, on these models i think the top of it looks pretty cool like i like how bulky the top is but when it comes to the legs i don't know something's throwing me off about the legs a bit i think i would prefer the legs to look a bit more machinery rather than like those fin type of like human -y legs they've tried to design and maybe that's just me maybe they'll grow me over time but um that's like the thing that sticks out to me like a part of this model like I'm, i i don't really care like it's a baby carrier mark ii because i always like the baby carrier for the great knights yeah i'll hold my hands up i'm one of the people who liked it um i don't mind like she's she's operating it with some little buttons and stuff either side um i don't mind how big the sword is or you know it you know I know a lot of people complain about the weapons um but it's just the legs it's it's something about the legs that is throwing me off. It looks very Eldar-esque, as I mentioned on the stream. Anyway, moving on to one of the next 40k things that were shown off was Kill Team. We have Prior Nexus. And the thing that stood out for me, as you see in the background with the trailer now, was the Primaris Heavy Intercessors. How long have we been waiting for Intercessors to come out? And this has the Space Marine Captain in there and the Space Marine Intercessors. Five Space Marine Heavy Intercessors and one Space Marine Captain. The actual image you see in the background now actually just shows what you, what you actually get in this box set. So you get the five Necron Flayed Ones and the Necron Chron uh, Chronomancer. I always get confused saying that word. Um, the Necron Terrain, which is, is fantastic. If there's one thing I welcome is more Xenos Terrain. I think that's what GW needs to start doing. All the terrain at the moment is very, very Imperial based. So more Chaos, more more Xenos stuff, you know, more Tau stuff, uh, more Eldar stuff, Dark Eldar stuff, Orc stuff when it comes to terrain, and of course the Necron stuff, which is um, in this one. Now, the big argument about this is, do I buy the Prior Nexus just for the Primaris Heavy Intercessors? I've actually gone off Kill Team. I don't think I'm going to be jumping on the Kill Team bandwagon anytime soon. So I'm debating now whether just to buy this box set, just to get my hands on the Space Marine Captain, 
and those Primaris heavy intercessors. They did say on the stream that this is all going to be multi-parts, which is an absolute bonus, but they also said that the Primaris um, um, heavy, inter uh, heavy intercessor kit will be shortly released after this box set. So this is, the, this is the only chance to get them before they hit the stores. But I don't know how long is that going to be. Could it be a month? Could it be two months? Um, so this is where the, the the actual debate is. Hopefully GW will release some information in the coming weeks to say um, this is how long the heavy intestors are from being pre-ordered um, on, um, on their own. Because the last thing I want to do is be spending a lot of money on a box set, which I'm only going to be using six guys from that box set. I don't know. Maybe I can find a friend to split it with or something like that who's more interested in the rest of the stuff. Moving on to the big chongus um this is the brand new adeptus titanicus titan uh, that was shown off and he's a big boy he is a big boy and he likes it big and props to him look at him he's absolutely a hench look at all those plasma guns all the plasma um he looks amazing absolutely fantastically amazing i've I'm, I'm, again I'm, i haven't really bought into the whole titanicus yet but i know it has a really strong following and i'm sure a lot of people are pleased about this so this is a war master titan this is um a, a new variant if i'm not mistaken i think they mentioned that it's off uh, some old jess goodwin um um uh, pictures from back in the day please correct me if i'm wrong but uh, i like it it looks nice and uh, I, I would love to see the size of this compared to an actual knight on 40k because a lot of people are saying that it's actually the same size as a knight which blows me away because i don't think of the scale of titanicus um as that size so um yeah i'm really pleased to see um that and hopefully um um we'll get this model very very soon and people can start doing the kit bashes with knights and stuff which would be bloody bloody fantastic now i know this is a 40k channel and i'm mostly invested in 40k until the old world comes out that is um but i want to say warhammer underworld to die chasm the crimson court this has me thinking that maybe I should buy this. Um, I've never played Underworlds before. I don't know how to play it, how it works. But these models are absolutely spectacular. Um, these are probably some of the best fantasy models I've seen from GW do. Um, forever, really. Um, everything, everything about these models, I absolutely love. The poses, uh, the way they look um fantastic uh it, it 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 really did blow me away on the stream um and i actually do think i'm going to be buying these and maybe that will be my first footsteps into warhammer underworld because of how good these guys are hopefully this is like the president um pre president the president they've set now um with the old world and when we do get like the undead and stuff or the vampires and stuff for the you know the old world um the models will be like this because that would be absolutely godly and moving on to the last reveal and this was a special one because we all didn't know what this was no one knew what this could be the hype was out there that this was going to be stuff like battlefleet gothic maybe epic but what we got was Warhammer Quest, which in a way makes sense. I know there's a lot of people let down that it wasn't Battlefleet Gothic, me in particular, because I absolutely love Battlefleet Gothic. I think GW would just make so much money. They'd be like printing their own money if they made Battlefleet Gothic. There's so much um, people that are interested in the actual game. But it makes sense that it is Warhammer Quest, as I just said, because um, uh, Blackstone Fortress has stopped and that was their RPG board game. So they have to replace that board game with something else. So it makes sense that it is Warhammer Quest. And as I stated before, um, they, they had the Silver Tower and then it went to 40k and then it's gone back to fantasy now. So I think the next RPG game we're going to be get is going to be 40k. Um, again, this is probably going to be in like two, three years time, maybe something like that. But it will definitely be returning to 40k once they finished uh, their stuff with Warhammer Quest. All right, Chaperoonios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching as always. Um, please leave your thoughts and feedback down below, some of the stuff you liked, disliked, um, anything like that. Um, all your feedback about the reveals for today. Um, once again, thank you for coming to my stream. It's been absolutely fantastic seeing you all there talking, just enjoying ourselves and just being Warhammer fanboys um, as we always do. Until next time, see you then. Have a great day and bye-bye.